Okay, I'm doing something different today. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about something very, very important. Um, and uh, it's EEG cloning. Um, I'm going to give a good description of this. Uh, I feel like everybody needs to know about this uh, in detail. Because uh, I don't have an interview today. So I was like, well, I'm just going to still going to do a video. And notice my poll about... Uh, reading Robert Duncan's book. Uh, I'm thinking about starting to read Robert Duncan's book once a week and uh, read a chapter out of it with emphasis added. And now my information is not trying to come up. I'm just trying to, it's the phone's messing up. So hold on one second. Okay, let's see, explore. Uh, screenshots. Okay, let me see if I can go to this. <sighs> Give me one second. Be patient, please. I think I'm right here. Okay, here we are. So anyway, I'm going to read a, a devotion today. And then um, I'm going to read this about EEG cloning, EEG heterodyning, because it's, it's good for you to understand this stuff. Because like I said, this is very important on understanding what's going on with you and how they're attacking you and how they take control of your cerebral cortex and can make uh, your leg jump or make your uh, eye twitch or do whatever they want with you. Once they have control of that cerebral cortex through your brainwave signature or your DNA or whichever way they or the chip, whatever they want to do it, they can send the fabricated falsified stream of energy to your brain and do whatever they want. There's also more to it, and I'm going to read it in here. First, I'm going to start with this devotion, then I'll start with the information. Make sure you go to that poll. So if you go to community, go to my community um, on my page, and go to the poll and poll, yes, you do want to hear Robert Duncan's book read with emphasis added once a week. I'm just going to read a chapter out of it once a week till I get done with the whole book. It'll be a series. Okay, so anyway, here we go. Just go in there and tap that vote. Trying to figure out if y'all like to hear it or no, you wouldn't like to hear it. Problems are a sign of life. The only people who do not have problems are people who live in cemeteries. Once perps surround us, we get overloaded with problems that must be solved. Every cloud we're given has a line of personal loss. We may need to leave behind an apartment, car, job, friends, or sadly, a beloved pet. We suffer as a loved one mysteriously pulls away from us. These matters are naturally difficult for anyone, but TIs never get a chance to properly grieve losing anything because of that vast amount of losses we sustain. Once it starts, it's like a domino effect until everyone and everything is gone. While our enemies have plotted to take everything from us, there are some things that remain with us from life. It's if our haters sow seeds for us to reap. The pressures of loss and lack begin to squeeze in the life out of us. We wonder, where's God? He's in the water that we are drowning in. He is in the air we're gasping for. He sees everything and knows who's doing what to his people. And that day, the burden will be lifted from your shoulders and the yoke from around your neck, and the yoke will be broken. Amen. So anyway, here we go. Contractors, neuroscientists, psychologists, uh, behavior scientists, trauma-based mind control involves EEG heterodyning, cognitive researchers. EEG cloning uses a strategic deception and mental manipulation to create errors of judgment, reasoning, vocabulary confusion by every means possible. However, they also target the anonymous symptoms systems of their victims' anatomy, such as the motor cortex, visual cortex, sensory cortex. Visual cortex, they, that means they can tap in there and manipulate what you see, or just etc. Cloning experiments are used to create demented mind models, which create the worst mentally deranged psychopathology that the monsters can come up with to destroy their victims and other innocent people for training, research, and development. This is why sexual manipulation and programming is so crucial to their technology. Cloning is most effective on subjects that are sensory deprived, which is why they constantly use sleep deprivation 
to force people into drowsy theta stack with each attack or force their victim into isolation, such as by altering the sleep cycles, forcing their victims to stay up all night, all day, etc. These teams who are able to read and manipulate brainwaves and default nervous system by illuminating your brain and its electrical conductance and then reading the return signal. Their imaging methods observes the changes of the frequencies, resonance, frequency resonances, amplitude, phase of the victim's brainwave pattern, which represent the states of the neuron depolarization throughout the brain. They're able to influence victims' brainwaves by using precisely timed ELF waves, photons specifically tuned to the victim's brainwave signature, which admits a return and train signal for injection feedback. A large test pool of mind control victims is necessary as many human minds are needed to create the database's specific brain data necessary to increase the effectiveness on a larger and larger population. Technology is being scaled to cover the entire use of the U.S. population, and 350 million Americans are now infected with the technology which they have been spraying through the hydrosphere for decades. They're using cataloging and cloning operations to achieve their training, research, and development of mind control technologies. Cloning does not refer to human cloning, but the EEG cloning of the victim's brainwave patterns. It is an arms race as every country in the world feels the need to have this neural weapon, which requires torturing and killing many people, their own population to develop. EEG cloning means to copy someone else's brainwaves onto another person. The technology is so advanced it can done, didn't be done wirelessly from great distances anywhere in the world. A new military division has now emerged called Psychic Warfare Unit to influence the brainwaves of the target just as easy as reading them. So at the other extreme, a psychic warrior can e or cognitive researcher can EEG clone his brainwaves onto the victim. The correct terminology to describe their mind control technology is heterodyning. Heterodyning is an engineering term which means to mix signals. So cloning is just a special case of EEG heterodyning, and meaning mixing a brainwave sig signals between the psychic warrior, and the mind control victim. The psychic warrior would be the uh, the psychic warrior is like a handler, so he clones, so he has control over what happens to you. EEG are collectors of people who share one common set of brainwaves, and they can communicate with each other with synthetic telepathy remote viewing, etc. They're engaged in training, research, and development of collective mind configurations and how to use it to control, spy through, disable, or kill a target individual. It's called psychophysics and challenges to map exactly the subjective experiences of the victim's conscious, will, intellect, and emotion by subjecting the victim to brutal torture and harassment to the physics of organic intelligences for information signal processing including both biochemical and electromagnetic. The tools of the criminal psychologist hive mind teams are called psychotronics. Mind control weapons are the holy grail of all weapon systems and have given birth to the world's most notorious psychopathic scientists, which in turn have turned to spawn a generation of the most intense human suffering for weapons testing efficiency the people of this planet have ever endured. The technology is too unbelievable for most to comprehend, and the brutality of their torture and harassment on so many citizens is enough for the majority of the people to be skeptical and tune out. Indeed, torture attacks on mind control victims is designed to be brutal precisely so no one will believe the atrocities are occurring. They're using physical and psychological trauma to map out the sensory and neural pathways of the victim's brain and nervous system. And why do they get away with all this stuff? I'm going to tell you why they get away with this stuff. I was talking to somebody earlier. Here's why they get away with it. They put you in situations most of the human population cannot fathom something like this being done, nor do they want to believe it. They refuse to believe it. So the situations they create are so unbelievable that even if you went and told somebody, they would say you were nuts. So that's how they're getting away with it. Because all the human population has been dumbed down to only believe what the news tells them and uh, the mainstream media tells them. When really they would just do their own research, they would see there's patents to this stuff. You got people, millions of testimonies to this stuff happening and all of that. And all that should be enough evidence right there. Um, anyway, God bless all TIs. Please uh, be sure to hit the like button if you could, because uh, the more people hit the like, the more I'm trying to beat this algorithm. Um, besides the way I do beat it and I've done explained it, I'm not going to give away my thing again but you know how i try to beat it um I'm, i wouldn't say i beat it but i do a good job at uh getting making sure people get to see my videos because you know it's uh if i didn't do what i did it would probably get uh 
probably shadow banned pretty bad. So anyway, um, God bless all target individuals. Another thing, I'm I'm working on interviews. I'm in between interviews right now. I think I got one tomorrow and Sunday. Um, so if you're interested in uh, doing an interview uh, and telling your story and getting your story out there, uh, please uh, email me at hollyspunk at gmail.com. Um, also, uh, you know, I really think that a lot of, there's been a bunch of people's schedules interviews and then it's time and then they back out and stuff uh you know all of them ain't perps and i know the ones that's not perps and uh but uh you know please don't waste my time doing that and if you do it's okay you know there's a reason everything happens so uh but just uh if you want to do an interview be serious about it and um uh send me an email and we'll get it set up god bless all ti's